Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for February 19th, 2021. Well, my goodness, we're finally, we're kind of slipping through this month pretty quickly, and I got to tell you, not too soon for me. I'm definitely looking forward to a little bit warmer weather on the way. And I'm sure um, everyone, particularly those folks that are being so challenged in Texas, are looking for that warmer weather to come along pretty darn quickly. So hopefully that will be the case. Yesterday, we saw a little bit of bearishness showing up in the market. There was a little bit of concern as we um, had jobless claims come in higher than expected. And we saw housing starts um, decline significantly. But we rallied right back, right back up off of that. So how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Take a look at these index charts and see what we can glean from that in the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. This morning, everyone, we are trying to push back higher. Let's take a quick look at um, the chart. Now, remember in the TC2000 system, I'm showing this is a pre-market candle right here. So this was yesterday's candle. We pushed down yesterday, and um, it's, it's hard to believe that um, looking at this, it looks like a, an almost no movement day that uh, the Dow actually slipped 300 points to its lowest level yesterday, kind of showing the danger of the market because we are so elevated. It's easy to get these big point moves in what seems to be a very, very tiny overall candle. Um, that is the danger. But the good side of this is that we pushed down yesterday and by the end of the day, those bulls came right back in. And part of that impetus to push right back in is we saw Janet Yellen come out pushing and promoting for a, you know, a go big stimulus package. Um, spin, 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 print, print, print. And um, as um, that news started to make its way through the system that uh, there was that promotion of that. Um, the market really started to rally back up. So what it really tells us is um, that even though our economy is damaged, and as a matter of fact, I wrote in the morning blog this morning, if you looked at our index charts as an outsider, you would think that the pandemic was the best thing for our economy that we have ever seen. Well, we all know that is not true and that our economy is um, not strong overall. And we've got many, many problems that we face in this economy. However, as long as we stay addicted to government stimulus uh, and government debt, we continue to show bullishness in this market. So we need as traders to focus on this price action and realize that um, it, we've got our next fix coming around um, here very, very soon, a $1.9 trillion fix, it looks like. And that's going to juice us up and keep us moving to the upside here likely for a while. So we can't really get any bearish activity to really show itself. We have to stay with this trend as uh, traders. We may disagree with it. Um, if you, uh, you may be a little bit like me and, and kind of feel like um, eventually this is going to end very badly. But for now, all it seems to matter is keep printing and jobs don't matter and nothing else matters. As long as we keep the government pumping money into the economy, we're going to go up. And right now, that's what this chart shows. This chart shows that we're holding these support levels, even though um, we're starting to get signs of rising inflation. We're starting to get signs of joblessness. Well, we've been getting signs of that. We've, we're starting to see declines in um, the housing market. Um, none of that matters as long as we keep printing. So bulls are holding in here strong. We can't get those bears to engage um, really at all, or at least for any length of time. And we actually are setting up a bullish pattern here. So notice that in the Dow chart, 
um, as we continue to in this choppy consolidation and actually wide range price action consolidation in here, we're holding up and this is a bullish pattern holding support in that opportunity that we could soon break to the upside and push on through. So keep an eye on that. There is always that possibility we could push on up. It's if we take a look at the SPY real quickly, SPY very, very similar. We had kind of a an ugly little push down yesterday. Um, testing pretty heavily in here noticing that we we've come down here and we tested the lows and actually broke through these uh, tails of a few days ago as you can see broke through those tails but we responded back up and we're truly holding support and trend here in the chart so looking at the chart there's no bearishness here we have to stay on that bullish side um, of the market let's take a look at the cues QQQ had one of the bigger struggles yesterday pushing down pretty substantially but you can see at the end of the day come rushing back in buyers pushing back up it's pretty hard to be bearish when we're just force feeding money into the economy so keep a keep an eye on that although we did test a support level and it was looking a little sketchy there at some point that we could actually slip below as you can see we um, got a little tail underneath that we fell briefly below that support level eventually it held and now this morning with Janet Yellen's big push for a big stimulus package we're pushing back up now we do have a little bit of worry here in this chart we do have some price resistance right here that we still have to consider but watch that closely um, bulls are definitely in control let's take a look at IWM IWM has had a significant struggle here um, the last few days and as you can see if depending on how you draw this trend we've kind of slipped that trend right now and um, backed up even though we're showing bullishness this morning we do have a little stronger resistance point here to deal with in the chart now we know um, um, energy stocks have been very very strong um, and we know financials have been very very strong if they can continue these big strong upside trends um, there's every reason to believe that IWM will recover that resistance and move on higher that said we always have to be careful and recognize the fact that if those bears if we do stumble in some way those bears could come in and we could see a little bit more downside in that chart so watch that carefully if that were to occur let's take a look at the VIX I got to tell you, it, it's just remarkable to me that we can continue to press and, and break new records and do all these things and still see that VIX unable to really sustain anything below a 20 handle. And we, we've had this volatility um, the last few days bouncing us around in here um, in that chart, providing just a little bit of uncertainty. And I'm sure a lot of you have experienced that this week it's been rather challenging to make much money because the market is just up and down and up and down unless you're an intraday trader it's just a lot of swing a lot of um, uncertainty out there and we're seeing that in the VIX too just a little bit of uncertainty but what we're really not seeing here is a major spike in fear so fear is not really um, a major factor here but we certainly have not been able to break down through these lows and you would think if we're going to make new record highs um, uh, that we should eventually be dropping this fear out but not so much yet so keep a close eye on that that could suggest we still have quite a little bit of volatility um, to deal with yet today let's take a look at our t2122 T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio, had a nice little resting pullback yesterday. So, although the markets um, ended pushing back to the upside, we had more stocks in decline than we had those going up. And as you can see, we pushed back here toward that mid level of T2122. Now, what that means is, is we've opened a bullish door. We've, we've given the, the market the room here in T2122 to 
uh, push on higher. So if we can continue to press that message of big stimulus, big stimulus, we could certainly surge this back to the upside. But we can't rule out the possibility if, if we have an economic report or something like that that creates another stumble that we could still sink back down in this area. So just kind of keep an eye on that. We have open windows on both sides that, that we could uh, move through. So just stay on your toes and watch that closely as we progress throughout the day and head into the weekend. Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today. In our economic calendar, this is what I was talking about. We've got these reports that we'll want to pay attention to. And I apologize. I continue to catch those other windows. I don't intend to do that and I apologize for that. As you can see here we have PMI composite 9:45 a.m. Eastern. The PMI composite is looking for a consensus is suggesting just a little bit of pullback in that. I don't think that's going to be a major issue or a stumbling block. I think if there is going to be a stumbling block, it'll be right here today in existing home sales. If we start seeing those existing home sales pull back and there'd be reason to believe that that could be possible in these rising rates and we've saw uh, this week mortgage applications falling and we saw housing starts falling rather sharply, we could see existing home sales starting to pull back as well. Lumber prices have just, um, we claim that there's no inflation in the market, but boy, we're sure see seeing it in lumber prices as they just continue to soar uh, to the upside, raising the cost of all of these homes um, significantly. So that may be one of those things that we could see a little bit of cooling because of those high prices in those. So keep an eye on that number today. That could be an important one. And then uh, make note that we've got... Um, Fed speaker out here today. Not that we're going to learn anything new, but we always want to pay attention to that when the Fed is out there speaking. Um, let's take a look at our earnings calendar today. And our earnings calendar is a lot lighter today than we've seen this week. Um, we had only 40 some companies reporting earnings today. And uh, for the notables, they're not exactly those kind of stocks that are going to move the market a whole bunch. Um, um, except for the possibility of John Deere. Now, John Deere um, is a big player, obviously, in the Dow. And the Dow has been one of those um, indexes that this week set new records. And um, this is pushing on up this morning. You can see John Deere must have reported pretty well uh, moving to the upside here this morning. That will help the Dow out significantly. But other than that, we don't have um, a lot of earnings that are really you know, those big market movers. We've got um, some utilities in here, AEE. Um, this is trying to come up off of a bottom. We've got DTE, um, uh, some utility um, struggling along here, as you can see in that chart. Um, e, um, oil and gas um, stock, little little guy, um, not likely to move the market around um, that much. ERF, uh, another little oil and gas guy that's going to report today. Um, very, very bullish, but not exactly what you would consider a market mover. Um, and then MGA is on that list. Um, this certainly has some potential to move things around a little bit, but MGA has been in a tremendous upside run here, looking really good, looking really positive. And um, MGI, um, those would be kind of the notables for today. Um, not exactly those kind that are really gonna inspire a whole lot of energy in the market. So just kind of keep that in mind. We probably will be more focused on that housing number today. By the way, guys, if this, um, if you ever um, want to catch the entire list or review that list again of uh, those notables, click that link just below the title of the video 
and you can um, drop on over to the blog and pick up that information. And you're going to see right underneath that a new link, and that is a link that you can buy me a coffee to support the channel. If you feel that the videos were worthy, if you're finding them to be helpful, you can support the channel now through Buy the Coffee. And by the way, there is no obligation to do so um, at all. But I do appreciate everyone who has, and um, I appreciate it a ton. That money will not be buying coffee. That money will be use it to improve the channel um, new equipment and things like that so thank you everyone who does take the time to do that let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube and click that bell icon when it pops up so that you'll be notified when i post these videos and also if you feel like the video is worthy please click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that really helps me uh continue to grow the channel. Um, I can't do this without you guys. And um, I, I tell you, it does take quite a little bit of effort to produce a video like this every single day. And it just means the world to me that you guys are supporting that and um, continuing to grow the channel. You guys are, are truly awesome. Thank you so much. Let's take a look at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And um, remember, there's not a these are not a recommendation to buy or sell any security. Um, you have to follow your own due diligence, do your own due diligence, and make sure that you're not blindly following anyone else's trade. That's never, ever a good idea. Follow your own risk tolerances. Let's take a look at a chart. Let's take a look at BABA here. Now, BABA, this has been an interesting chart, but I like what, what I'm seeing in this chart, this pattern. It's a little bit of a back and forth here. Let me show you. I've got some drawings on this chart, and I should delete um, a bunch of this off. This was a laid out a bull put credit spread. But take a look at right in this area. We've been struggling right in this area here, trying to break through this resistance in the chart. And we're, we're trying to get through there um, and just just having a rough time here. But what I like about this chart is noticing that we are in this little bit of a rising trend. We've broken this downtrend and we've consolidated that largely over here, resting, um, trying to hold that area. Now you might want to keep an eye on this. If this can get going, we know Baba can really move when it starts to get going. So you might want to keep an eye on this chart if it can perk on through and break through that resistance to the upside. Pretty decent looking chart. And one other thing to kind of point out, um, we could have the possibility of that inverted head and shoulders starting to form up here on that chart. We just need that bullishness to come in to maybe spark Baba a little bit higher. So keep an eye on it, looking pretty good. Take a look at RIG. As long as these oil and gas companies continue to see lots and lots of upside push in here, I think we've got that chance of um, um, drilling, exploration, those kind of things, um, refining are going to be um, a back in demand. And you can see rig has been up here pushing against a, a price resistance level. It's struggling right now against that price resistance level. But uh, what I think is interesting in this chart, at least at the moment, we really can't get enough sellers to really push it down yet. That may soon occur, but if we can hold in this area and build that bullish energy back into the market, we could pop right on through there. So keep an eye on rig. It might be something to put on your list. I've also mentioned Valero this week. Um, uh, VLO looking very, very strong here. And obviously, if demand is returning to oil and gas, um, then we are going to need to see um, these refiners um, obviously putting out that oil and gas. Um, they could start doing very, very well again. So keep an eye um, on uh, refiners like Valero moving up in a trend, holding onto a support level. This could just perk on through moving on up. So watch that closely. How about a few different other stocks? Um, now, Disney, I was watching pretty closely and you can see I set an alert here. We had a nice little hammer pattern here um, on this the other day and yesterday kind of gave that up pushing back. So Disney, we know, had a really good earnings report. Um, they showed a lot of, lot of strength in their streaming service. And I've been watching this for a potential um, um, re-entry into that trade. So watch that carefully. If this can con 
consolidate and hold this may need to look, pull back here a little bit more and rest but keep an eye on disney in here looking pretty good overall i still have to continue to mention um, these retailers retailers have been holding up really really well and it may be a function of stimulus folks going out and spending those stimulus checks in these places but notice that Kohl's here just cannot seem there the bears can't push it down at least at the moment we're holding these support levels in here in the chart and i think there's that opportunity these could push on higher so keep an eye on that Kohl's we're seeing that in several stocks um one stock that i hold as a and have held for a long time now is uaa and you can see uaa just continues to chug on up and even though we had a big gap um, in that earnings event we've really got nobody selling in here so watch for that next opportunity where this could extend on out and keep moving on up in that trend looking pretty good overall take a look at if you guys are interested in some longer term holds it might be time to start taking a look at 3m 3m this is a weekly chart and 3m has broken this long-term downtrend here in the chart and we know that when the markets start getting a little bit sketchy and a little bit edgy um, that there can be a transition to more of the old boring dividend paying companies uh, can come back into fashion and we have seen here recently 3m rallying up off this low um, breaking through that resistance as a matter of fact if you look at this this is kind of a big ranging um, inverted head and shoulders pattern that could be forming here we've broken through that downtrend and we're trying to prove that as support if we get some bullish action in here there may be some upside um, in this chart and uh, keep a close eye it's a pretty decent looking chart overall um, like that position um, it's very very similar to my position here in tbt and the one that i've been talking about this is that one where i'm um, um, believing that interest rates are likely going to rise and you can see in this weekly chart there's that pattern again where we break that downtrend okay break that downtrend hold it as support and then we start that rally to the upside so um, keep an eye on some of those longer term charts that may be coming up out of bottoms like this uh, maybe some opportunities in that chart I know I'm enjoying some nice profits out of this trade in TBT um, at the moment looking pretty good overall so let's take a look um, some of the high flyer stocks that we've seen here recently like NIO seem to be losing a little bit of the shine um, off of those so be really careful here we've broken this trend in NIO <clears throat> pulling this back that possibility that this could rally back to a resistance and then fail so watch that closely I wouldn't want to be jumping on this um, long again unless we can recover that support if we can recover support hold up here then the um, perfect no problem for that upside move but watch that closely as that continues to set up um, it could go either direction on some of these stocks that have been rel relatively high flyers take a look at STX now STX a very nice looking chart holding up in this bullish trend we've been consolidating up around this um, big spiking move that we had here and no one seems to really want to sell in here so watch this STX could soon um, start continuing this trend to the upside watch that closely good opportunity possibly in that chart so with that everyone hey i want to wish you all a fantastic day i want to wish you great profits in your trading and i also want to wish you a very safe and wonderful weekend ahead um thanks for watching everyone i really appreciate it take care of yourselves have a great weekend and we'll see you right back here bright and early monday morning